Oh shit. Uh I'm actually kinda tired. I'm recording pretty late. Um I was I was out for I don't know, a bit of the day. You know, like midday or whatever. I left I left at like three and then I was out Christmas shopping and shit. Um But you know, picked up picked up all the remaining Christmas presents that I needed to get. I didn't really talk about that at all, did I? Uh so what we do we do Secret Santa, which means that uh you you have a random person that you buy a present for and it's one person and you know everybody has their own person or whatever um and i i uh it, it was good actually because the person i got uh I, I i i knew exactly what i was going to get them as soon as i knew who i had because actually like last year i found something online that i thought would be something really good for them and then i knew who had them and I told them about it, but uh, they just didn't. They didn't want. Then they didn't want to buy it. So this year around, I was like, "Oh shit, I can buy this person a present. I know exactly what I'm going to buy them." Um, so I did, uh, and that's all. That's good and done and taken care of. Um, but like, there's actually for our secret Santa, there's a thirty thirty dollar limit. Um, but it's like it's more of a. It's more of a suggestion than a limit. Like you, you kind of want to shoot for it. It's kind of kind of rude to be underneath. And my this particular gift was only twenty bucks, so I went out today and got uh, ten dollars worth of other things, uh, among uh, various other. other th what what is happening right now? Am I doing it? Oh oh, that's why it feels so weird. I turned off. That's right. That's right. Somebody pointed this out to me. Um, uh, so, well, not, not, not exactly, but they were talking, oh, oh, I hate it. They were talking about, um, this because I was talking to a friend of mine who just created, or just started the game, and I told them, make sure you turn up battle speed, and, uh, they said, they said to turn off, um, the battle, battle motions or whatever, and I... I am so used to battle motions. Like, I went through... Uh, they said turn off some squiggly shit or whatever. I was like, what are you talking about? Uh, so I went through, and, and it's called Battle Action Motions, I think. And I, um... Uh, where is it? Yeah, Battle Action Motions. And I have always had that on, and I like having it on. Uh, but I've never noticed before that, like, no other YouTuber leaves it on. I don't think anybody leaves it on. Nobody's, like, said anything to me about it. But I'm so used to it, and I just prefer it so much. Um, apparently, it's it's a lot quicker to not have it there, as you saw just there. But I don't know. I like it. I like it. I like that they actually do something. You know, um, I don't like this, the the whole the the alternative where literally nothing happens. Um, like they just randomly take damage. Like one of them jumps, and the other one takes damage. I don't know. I don't like it. I like that they pounce on it and and. Uh, do whatever apparently they do they do a 360 like they spin around it i think is what i heard i don't really pay attention that much kind of seems like the case i think it's different um per per thing maybe do they go behind it at all it's really hard for me to tell i should like slow this down because i know i can i can slow this down in my editor I might actually slow it down and look at it and then let you know tomorrow, uh, figure out exactly what they do. Um, but I just like it. I prefer it so much more. Uh, nobody in the comments is ever like, why do you have battle like emotions on? It looks so dumb. Uh, but, but, um, somebody in the chat said they didn't like it, but not that, like, it bothers them to see me do it. Um, because it bothers me not. Like, <laughs> just now when I didn't, have it on i was like looking at it and i was a little disgusted i was like this is so weird i cannot handle this um because i like i like my actions to do something you know i like feedback i like feedback is what i like i like you know i tap the thing and then something actually happens um i like to actually see some sort of proper feedback and when i don't see that I get really, really confused mentally, and and just like there was actually there was a rhythm game I believe it was called Zion uh, or something like that when I played it and I made a video on it, and I got a headache. I got a headache because I tried a mode 
that I didn't understand. And when I tried to do things, it didn't seem like things were happening. And what it created was some sort of disconnect between the actions of my fingers and the effect that it's having in game. And it gave me a huge headache. I hated it so much. I couldn't fucking stand it. Uh, it literally just my head started to hurt thinking about it. And I, uh, I just couldn't stand it. Um, so I deleted that game and I don't, I don't play it anymore. That's never happened before. I've never had a video game give me a headache before. Uh, but, but yeah, um, I didn't like it. So I like to see things happening. I like reactions and I like, I like, um, yeah, I just like seeing things happen. Uh, so I like battle action motions. And if you don't like battle action motions, I'm sorry, but I've been doing it for as long as I've been doing it and no one has really said anything about it. So I don't think it matters that much. Um, whatever, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, it may make the game go a little bit faster if I don't, but I just prefer it this way, and it's, you know, it's easier to think things through like it or whatever, but I don't know. Um, it would probably even make fucking my auto team much faster, but uh, I don't know if it's fast enough for me to actually care about it, you know? Um, so yeah, I leave... I leave battle action motions on. If I wanted to, I would be able to get used to leaving it off, but I don't want to, so I won't. Um, and it's as simple as that, you know? Uh, but, but yeah, today, today I went out, I bought things. Uh, I actually bought more than Christmas presents. Uh, I can talk more about the things that I bought for myself uh then the christmas presents. well i guess i guess it doesn't matter if i talk about christmas like who the fuck's gonna find out you know my sister is the only one who really knows about uh youtube my youtube channel but she doesn't watch any of my videos and she was there when i bought the presents uh <laughs> she also knows who i have and what i bought for them although she doesn't remember i did show it to her uh she may have remembered i don't know uh, but I did show it to her online, like, the day that we did, because I knew immediately that she knew who I had, um, because some interesting circumstances happened or whatever, but, uh, <laughs> so I knew, and then on the car ride back, I was just like, hey, check this thing out, she was in the passenger seat, by the way, I wasn't distracting her while she was driving, uh, her boyfriend was driving, he's cool, I like him. Uh, but, <laughs> so I showed her this, and she's like, wait, is this, a, is this a good gift for, uh, for this person? And they're like, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, so that's what I got them. But I also got a poster. I got a poster. I went to Five Below, and I got a poster. Uh, I won't say what the poster is, because I haven't said what the poster is, uh, in chat, I mean. Uh, because... <laughs> Because I was conflicted between two different posters. I was conflicted between One Punch Man and Hatsune Miku. Uh, and one of them was like a... Was, uh, it's fucking... It's like One Punch Man... It's like all of the goddamn One Punch Man characters... Uh, got like... Like even the, the lesser ones... Like up in the corner and shit... Uh, with all the, the fucking... Uh, like all the other heroes that, that are just part of the thing. Like the dog guy up in the fucking corner there and... Uh, uh, other shit, but, um, and it's, so it's that, and I'm like, I fucking love One Punch Man, I fucking love One Punch Man, so I'm looking at this one, and then I'm looking at this Hatsune Miku picture, or poster, and it's just, like, just super attractive Hatsune Miku, uh, chilling there, being super attractive, uh, in, like, a, a pose thing or something, um, so I was conflicted between those two, and I asked in, in chat, I was like, which one do I get? And then I got one person for Miku, and then one person uh, for One Punch. Neither of them really saying you have to get this, but um, they were just saying that, oh yeah, this is cool or whatever. Uh, but I eventually did make my decision. I just haven't said in chat yet, uh, because I want to take a picture of it, but I don't want to take a picture of it with the lighting that I currently have. Just because I don't like the lighting, uh, I'm going to wait for the sun to be up because the sun is best lighting no matter what. Uh, so when that's there. Because if I have the lighting, it'll have like weird glare on the poster. Like it looks good from here, but on the camera it doesn't always, uh, it doesn't always look good. So I'm going to wait for the sun to come in and then take a picture with that. And then I'll, uh, I'll, I'll tell in video 
uh, what it is and how I came to my decision because I know I'll remember. Uh, <laughs> speaking of remembering things, uh, I actually have started doing the card thing that I mentioned a while back where I would set out a card where the, the, the idea was to set out a card, memor or memorize the card, set it out face down, and then check on it at a later date. Um, or, or even, you know, later, later during that same day. I've been doing it recently. I've just been starting, starting simple and doing it, you know, all day and then all night. And, uh, it's been going pretty well. Like, uh, like I would set it out. Uh, fuck, I hit you on. Oh my god. Oh my god, I had you on. Uh, I would set it out in the morning and then I would check it at night. And, and I would always remember it before checking it. Um, but actually this morning... This morning, I set it out, I set it out, like, within an hour of waking up, and then, uh, thought about it around noon and completely 100% forgot, uh, and that just doesn't happen very often, but, um, so that did, that did happen, and then I just checked on it, rememorized it, and then just put the same one back because it was noon or whatever, and now I remember it, I still remember it, um, I think it's a four of diamonds, yeah, there's a four of diamonds, but uh, the significance as to why I forgot this one, I think, is because the first two, uh, the first one, I put on my piano, which is next to my bed, which is where I always am. And the second one, I put on top of my computer, uh, which is, you know, across the room, but I kind of go over there even now and then, and I would see it there, and, uh, and things like that. But the third one, uh, as I mentioned, I did this very early, and I actually hit it. I slid it underneath uh, the box for my um, uh, Squid Girl figure because she's in her box right now. I had her out uh, and on my bookshelf, but I changed rooms and I didn't really have anywhere to put her. So I just put her back inside the box and I'm just going to leave her there until I move again because we're going to move, I don't know, like in a year. Um, so she's just chilling in the box and I slid the card underneath that so it's like not not really visible, not even in a part of the room that I am in often, because that corner of the room is a bookshelf with a bunch of shit uh, that I don't really need access to, and also the cat's litter box. Uh, so I just don't really go over there, um, unless I'm cleaning the cat's litter box, which I should do more often, but I don't do very often. Uh, so I completely forgot it. But I, knew, I do know it now. It's a four of four diamonds, pretty sure. I mean, I can go up and check now, but... <laughs> you know, um, yeah, gosh, let's just fucking, let's do what I always do and just start talking about something completely unrelated, and that would be my very first few videos, uh, and that whole first season, too, because someone, someone, uh, left a comment on the very first video, and I know exactly who this is, I don't know why I do this, but I don't like to say who left comments particular comments. I know who it is. I have been talking to this particular person for the past half hour. <laughs> but I won't say who left the comment. But somebody left the comment on the uh, the very first video. Um, they said uh, this is where it all began. And I said no. Not quite, actually. Uh, because there um, there is uh, there's a video there was a video that I recorded before the very first video, but there's also, there's a video, uh, I don't, I was trying to track it down, but I know I made a video where I actually went back and looked at that original video because I was actually testing out multiple apps for recording and the very first video I did I recorded with a different app than the one that I had settled on and continued everything else with so it saved directory put it in a different folder than the one that I was using henceforth uh, so it was just always there because I never checked it and then one day I was just looking through shit and I saw that and I was like holy shit I know what this video is this is the very first video I ever recorded with VC um, and uh, it sucked uh, that sucked because I was crazy or uh, tired and then the one after it sucked all of the first hundred videos probably suck uh, the first five first five are pretty terrible uh, I kind of like the sixth one I don't know I really want to go through a lot of them and just delete the ones that I don't like but also like it's weird because 
I don't want to delete them because I've referenced them too often, you know? I, I, I will talk about things that have happened in the first season. I don't like a lot of the first season, and I don't like that people will go and watch the, uh, the first episode of the first season, and there are things that I say that I describe in that episode that are nothing like the videos that I make now. And, like, the things that I that I set in that very first video didn't even stay for the first hundred episodes or so. Because the things that I decided on, uh, I said that I would record every three days and I would record whenever I was playing. And the, the whole idea behind that was just to record all my progress. And it just... I didn't like it. I didn't like it and I stopped doing it. And it just evolved into what it is now. And what it is now I absolutely love. I enjoy doing this. But when people go and they watch that first video, if that's the first one they're watching, they're seeing, oh, look, this guy, he just does this thing where he's making videos about all of his progress. And all of these videos have just been daily videos about, oh, look, I'm doing this in VC. And that's not what it is anymore. Sometimes, yeah, but a lot of the times, no. Like, for the longest time, Mike was watching my videos solely to listen to my voice and just do other shit. And other people do that as well. But Mike uh, had knew nothing about VC. Uh, he didn't care about VC. He just liked, you know, all the, the stories and whatever the fuck that I, that I was talking about. And in a lot of these episodes, I barely mention VC at all. Uh, I do realize that, that I will occasionally, you know, I'll talk about, especially uh, new events and things like that. I'll talk about VC and every now and then, you know, I'll, I'll update people on, uh, my team setups and things like that. Uh, but it's not usually just VC. It's very, it's, it's very casual. It's very fun. Uh, so it's like a vlog, but it's VC. And that's where a lot of the, uh, the trouble comes in is that people looking for VC aren't finding VC. They're finding some vlog where I talk about bullshit. Uh, so I have to find people who are interested in VC, but who are also interested in, like, this, this vlog where I talk about bullshit, you know, uh, and it's so fun to do, and, like, there have been people that enjoy just me talking about bullshit, but it's weird when it's surrounded by this thing that, that there's a good chance that they know nothing about, so it's very hard to find an actual audience, uh, so, um, that's, that's that story, I guess. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, maybe, I don't know. Um, I know I don't like, I don't like a lot of those older videos and I should just get rid of that first season. I mean, I think by the time I start the third season, I will get rid of the first season. Um, I'm just going to get rid of it. It's just going to be gone when I start the, the, the third season. Um, the third season, that's... I don't even know what's going to happen then. Uh, probably probably a change to the thumbnails. Uh, and I know the naming scheme... The naming scheme always changes. Uh, well, will always change. It's only changed once because there's only been two seasons. Mm. But the thing that will differentiate seasons is the playlists. Uh, they will be in different playlists. And the naming scheme and the thumbnails will change, I think. I think we'll change the thumbnails. I'm not completely positive on that. It all depends on uh, just what happens. But I know that I will change the naming scheme, and I have a few ideas in mind. And, of course, it's good to keep a lot of ideas there, because if I want to keep doing this for a very long time, I, I need to have a lot of different ideas. Um, I think I've kind of settled on one, but it's going to be a hundred some days from now. So I, I don't really have to settle on anything quite yet. Um, and by naming scheme, uh, I mean more like titling scheme. So the first season, uh, the naming scheme was, uh, Valkyrie Crusade EP dash, and then the number. Uh, so like episode, Yada yada episode yada yada this one this one this one uh the, the very first five the very first five were Valkyrie Crusade let's play and then let's play in quotation marks and then it said episode one and I typed out the whole thing I actually typed out I typed out episode and I typed out the numbers as well I typed out the numbers I uh you know o o n e and then t w o uh, and then by the time six happened, I made the decision to start giving them, uh, titles. I think that that particular video is even called, like, 
or titled like clever clever title or something like that because i had mentioned in that in that video i was like yeah i should probably give these things some some sort of clever title so the joke was that the title was clever title um and that's when i did the ep dash whatever and that continued on and obviously the titling or the naming scheme for these is uh hashtag and then the three digit number and it always has been a three digit number the very first one was zero zero one specifically because i just wanted it to be three digit number um that's that's it that's the that's the naming scheme for this one uh maybe at some point it'll be a four digit number and then it'll just always start with zero even though that zero will never change ever because these episodes are 300 episode seasons for no particular reason other than i just like the number 300 in terms of this sort of season thing also very good chance that the break in between seasons this time may take longer than a week so the break in between the very first season and the second season was exactly a week that particular week um i also completely didn't do uh or i i went on a spiritual journey i uh i went and I stayed at one of the houses we were working at where there was no internet, no cable, no nothing. And I had a few books and I sat and I meditated and I thought about life and I yelled at myself a lot and I read. Um, and that was that. I didn't, I brought my phone, but I didn't use it. I wasn't supposed to use it. My mom, my mom would not let me not bring my phone, uh, but I didn't bring a charger. So I just had it off and uh in the basement and i just didn't didn't use it at all um and that was uh i mean that was that was good i really liked to uh, really like doing that that was um very refreshing to just be able to just kind of do that um the whole thing about yelling at myself that totally happened i never i never talked about that at all uh but that that did happen i um at one point i did just break down and I just started yelling at myself uh, over, you know, like all the all the shit that I was going through at the time. And I was yelling, just yelling into the fan, too, because that because there was no cooling. So it got really hot in there. Uh, but I found an industrial fan and I was just sat in front of it, just screaming into the fan uh, <laughs> because, you know, um, just like I was doing literally nothing all day. So it was. It was good. It was, it was good. Overall, it was good. It was good that I did that. Um, and this year, or next year, next year, uh, next year, it'll actually happen around the time of my birthday. Uh, because it obviously it doesn't happen in a year. Um, because it's 300 days instead of 365. So it'll happen uh, around the time of my birthday. And I don't know exactly what'll happen then. There is a possibility that by then things might change uh, and I may actually just extend the um, the time in which the break happens to an in, in, uh, undecided amount of time, you know, um, if things happen. Uh, I don't want to get too much into that because that's like future plans that might not even uh, come to fruition, so shouldn't really, shouldn't really start blabbing about all that, but, you know, we'll see when it happens, we'll see when it happens, that is, again, that is 140 some days from now, 138, 139, something like that, so, yeah, 100 some days from now, well into next year, um, we'll, we'll see what happens then, for now, all is well, I think, I hope, Take care of yourself.